Hello friends. Uh, in this video, I am going to demo. I am going to demonstrate the execution steps of the ARM interfacing program. Uh, this diagram shows the how the eight LEDs are connected to the ARM LPC twenty one forty eight. So in this, you can observe that the eight LEDs are there and which are connected to pin number uh, port number one at pin number twenty four. So P one dot twenty four, where P one is the port number and twenty four is the Pin number. So, so on up to twenty four to thirty one, eight are there. To turn on these LEDs, we need to send the logic one to these port one and to these pin from twenty four to thirty one. So, if we send the logic one, so how many logic one? Eight logic ones. If we send it, we can turn on all the LEDs. If we send the logic zero, we can turn off the LEDs. So, how we can program this? I'll look at one sample program. The steps of writing the C program or interfacing program is same. Only some of the configuration we need to do it. So I'll demonstrate that one. Now look at the first program part. So as as usual, the header file you have to add LPC twenty one four x dot h integer main. Then you have to decide the what kind of Input you want, whether the general purpose input or output you want. That is for that purpose we'll use the pin select two. It will select the pin. What kind of uh, what kind of uh, uh, port you want, whether for general purpose input or output or any control signal or anything or anything anything else. If you are using a general purpose input or output, set all the eight zeros. Nothing but all six or thirty-two lines are zero. So as you, as you know that zero is indicate that the hexadecimal number. Now direction, as I shown in the diagram. So we need to send the logic one to through these all eight pins to the to, to turn on these LEDs. So we need the direction. Nothing but output. So output that is done with I O one one indicate here port one so D I indicate direction what direction you want whether output direction or input direction so pin number twenty four to thirty one I have to make output one so that those twenty four to twenty the thirty one nothing but all should be set to one 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 so this one 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 nothing but we can write in hexadecimal eight ones you can write in hexadecimal F F So F F the pin number twenty four to thirty one now acts as a output. Now acts as a output. If you want to make as a input, set to zero zero all zero zero. So it acts as a input now. Now we have to send the logic one to turn on these eight LEDs from pin number twenty four to thirty one. So for that again I O set set nothing but the I O one set nothing but send the logic one to the port number. Uh, pin number port number one of twenty uh, pin number twenty four to thirty one so FFI so FFI is nothing but to turn on the all the LEDs so first one decides the pin select to decides the what kind of uh, port you want whether it is a general purpose input or output or any other control signal or any other communication signal then second I O one direction decide the direction whether you want input Port or output port. If you are using output port, you can set the logic one. Those pin you have to set the logic one. If you want input port, set the logic zero. Then you have to send the logic one to the out these output. So I have to use I O one set set nothing but you are sending logic one. Now if you want to send the logic zero, you can set instead of set you have to write C L R clear nothing but you are sending the logic zero. To send logic one, you are sending the set. Logic one. I have to write the set. After writing the code part, now we need to do some configuration. Let's save all these. Now double click on startup dot s. So it will appear. Initially, it appears some text editor. Then click on configuration wizard in configuration wizard. Now check that whether any tick mark at PLL setup. If it is tick mark, then remove that tick mark. Untick one. Untick at PLL setup. Then now come to the 
project palette and right click on target one and click on options for target so options for target make sure that you need to target uh, should be a clock frequency of 12.0 megahertz it's by default no problem now to put tick mark at or check mark at use micro lib if it is uh, if it is already tick mark no problem sometimes it's uh, there is no check mark so put the check mark at use micro lib okay. then at output tab you will need to create, put the check mark at create hex file if it is unchecked make it check mark and create hex file then click at linker at the linker put check mark at use memory layout from target dialog so put the check mark here if check mark is missing put check mark so keep in mind that in case of target you have to put the check mark at use micro lib at output put check mark at create x file at linker put check mark at use memory layout from the target dialog then click ok after clicking ok then you click on save on save all the configurations ok then after that we now next work is to create the hexadecimal file just now we saw that to create hex file that hex file nothing but your binary file you are going to write into the arm rom which is ep rom through your through your com port or usb port either of any can use it so we need to pro copy your binary converted file that is hex file into the real hardware that is arm controller board on that you have to copy it copy nothing but you are going to write your program into the arm rom so how are you going to write that one so before going to write that one after writing your program and all now next word build your target so click on build target so it will create the target with uh, without any errors and warning now next work we need to check that whether the uh, hex file is created or not now go to the file where your project you have saved it the directory i have created mc dot mc experiment check that any hex file is created yes hex file is created it is part 1b dot hex this hex file we have to dump into the or write into the rom of the r controller now how we can do that one so for that you have to use the the application software name as flash magic so double click on it it will open the window so after opening the window now some of the you have to do the configurations so go to options then click on advanced option in in that advanced option click on hardware configuration make sure that check mark at use dtr and rts to connect rst and ips pin and put check mark at keep rts asserted while com port open make sure that these two are should be check mark then click on okay then you come to the step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 and step 5 so in step 1 you have to select the device that is LPC 2148. So you can select from here. Yeah, it's LPC 2148. Then click on OK. Then choose the COM as COM1. Okay. Don't choose any other COM, only COM1. Okay, baud rate it fixed to 9600. Uh, interface is none. Then oscillator frequency you have to keep it at 12 megahertz. You have to write here 12 megahertz. Make sure that device is LPC 2148, COM1, then baud rate is 9600, interface is none, oscillator of 12 megahertz. Okay. Then in step 2, check mark at erase blocks used by hex file. You have to put the check mark here. Okay. Then in third step, you have to choose your 
which hex file you want to copy into the arm rom so browse click on browse and go to the directory where you have, where you have saved your hex file so this is my mc experiment so where this hex file exists part one dot uh, part one part b one dot hex file and click on open then in fourth option put check mark at verify after programming put check mark at verify after programming in step five click on start so before clicking on start make sure that your hardware or arm controller hardware device is connected to your working personal computer or laptop with the to your uh, to your communication port or to usb port either of all com port or usb port make sure that after connecting you can click on start then after clicking uh, right now i'm not able to demonstrate because right now because i'll demo going to demonstrate in lab so so after connecting that hardware uh, that com complete arm controller board click on start that it shows the progress status that copying the or writing the hex file into the rom that it shows that after completion it shows the message completion of arm flashing then whatever uh, now then after writing the program into the arm controller rom the arm now autonomously start working nothing but will turn on all the LEDs without any without any input and output. All things you are set it you are sent to your arm ROM. So that these are the steps you have to keep in uh, you have to follow it in for the interface experiment. Okay, okay. Uh, that's all for this uh, demonstration for interfacing. Thank you.